Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a short one for you. I wanted to tell you about a new upcoming project from Nolan. You know, Nolan is a big deal in the private server scene, I would say. He is the co-leader from the v Mangos project, you know, the v Mangos emulation core, and was the main developer from TurtleWow. And he will have a new project called Hateforge for German-speaking folk. So if you understand German, you speak German, you're more than welcome to join it's currently in alpha stage i have made a video on my german channel on that so if you're interested the links will be in the description please have a look there but to give you the general gist about the project it's a vanilla plus or classic plus project it's a pve server but with different game modes all in one realm. You will have hardcore mode, which you can enable when you're level one via in-game command. Then you have war mode, which is permanently, you will be permanently flagged for PvP and you will get double the honor points. And then you, of course, can use the normal PvP mode as well. There are, of course, vanilla plus features like adding new quests, dungeons, raids, items. But Nolan wants to make sure it it's like actual the vanilla feeling so it fits in the world that is a huge point for him same with not adding overpowered items or something like this this will feel like this like you know then on top of that there will be level simplifications like adding xp flasks and you get more rested experience bonus via in you know when you rest there this is boosted of course this is optional you don't need to use that then another huge point is that the server is cross-faction you can raid together you can quest and form groups together doesn't matter you know and you will also be able to send in-game mail to the other faction as well same with the auction house this will be connected and also cross-faction so that's really interesting and then you have also quality of life features like a chrono boon from classic you know you can save up your world buffs you can play and don't worry about them and then you know, use the chrono bone whenever you need the word buffs and then there will be the dungeon port stones you can teleport easier than through the world directly to these dungeons and on top of that there will be a flex system for 20 and 40 man instances or weights and this will scale up or down depending on how many people you have so if you don't have enough people or maybe the population isn't that big in the beginning paired with cross faction this should save your rate even pretty much and then there will also be a progressive patch cycle that means you will start with patch 1.2 and then go up to 1.12 and you will have some changes in items some items you won't get at another point and at the beginning of course lupus is a big deal as his original shadow damage and then of course for example warlocks are also really strong in the beginning because of the negative spill resistances and all that good jazz you know which will come with a progressive patch cycle but the cool thing about the progressive patch cycle is whenever there is demand from the community to move on to another patch then nolan will move on to the another patch so this is directly a decision from the community or with the community together which i find is really cool but yeah um this was pretty much the overview just wanted to give you a heads up links will be in the description like also for the discord if you want to uh, reach out to nolan and maybe help contribute in some form just hit them up and if you enjoyed please make sure to like comment and subscribe dislike it if you disliked it and having said it have a nice day and stay safe out there until next time guys bye bye i hope you enjoyed the video have a nice day guys stay safe out there vincent out bye bye